that's great. I hope you understand the Tetra Chords because now we're going to see how to build our first scale and that's the major scale. Major scales are really easy to build if you understand the Tetra Chords because major scales are made of two Tetra Chords. So if you can build a Tetra Chord then you can build a major scale. And the formula is as follows. You have to build one Tetra Chord which would be whole step, whole step, half step. Then you need a whole step link, let's call it like that, and then another tetra chord. So, uh, for example, if we start from the note C, let's build the tetra chord, the first tetra chord, also known as lower tetra chord, which would be, as we know, one step, one step, and half step. So we have this, and then we have to jump another whole step, which is our link. So the next note would be G, okay? And then we build our upper tetra chord from this note, which would be whole step, whole step, half step. So we have C, D, E, F, then G, A, B, C. And when we add these two tetra chords together, we build a major scale. In this case, it would be the C major scale. Okay, let's create another example from the note D. Okay, so our lower tetra chord would be, you know, step, step, half step, as we already know. Now we jump another whole step for our link and from the note A we build another tetra chord so it is B another step it's a C sharp and lastly half step D so we have our two tetra chords So it's easy. One last example from the note F. Okay, so we build our lower tetra chord, whole step, whole step, half step. Okay, as we said earlier, we cannot call this A sharp because we already have an A, so this must be a B. So it's a B flat. Then we jump our link and the next tetra chord will be built from the note C. We already know that one, so our two tetra chords and we can finish our major scale. Notice that major scales uh, start and finish with the same note. Okay, that's the correct way to uh, think about a major scale. It's just beginning with the note F and it, it is finishing with the note F as well. Okay, so major scales are extremely important because in our system, they are the basics for every other scale and chords and many more complex concepts. So it's extremely important to build all major scales and to play them. You can play them in your instrument first play it, analyze on a keyboard. The keyboard is great to understand music because you can visualize it and it's so much simpler than on other instruments. But once you understand that, if you play, for example, the flute or a guitar, then go ahead and play the same notes on the guitar. The rules are exactly the same and you need to get used to this in your instrument. Remember a very important note that uh, when you are building a major scale, you cannot repeat note names. So, so a major scale cannot have two Fs or two Gs or two Bs, etc. There has to be one of each note name. In all scales, it's the same story. And let me give you one important tip. If you build a tetra chord or a scale from, let's say, C sharp, you will find this one step. D sharp, okay? 
one step, we land here. And this note cannot be named F because we have C sharp, D sharp, and this must be an E. So this should be called E sharp, okay? It's E sharp, and the last half step would land on F sharp. So the tetrachord and scale from C sharp would be C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, and F sharp, okay? But it's important to notice that this, in this case, this note has to be called E sharp, not F. So we have to respect those note names. You may find uh, some weird situation sometimes, but it follows the same logic to respect different note names, no repetitions. You should not skip any note name and you have to follow the formula and you will do it just fine.